Destabilized glowstone. Oh, energized glowstone. That's the one. Three pulverized tin, one pulverized silver. I should just stop it from outputting. I should just stop it from doing it altogether. Is that what we're going to do? Put it on high? There we go. Look at this. We've got this, guys. So, one pulverized silver. Three tin. Ah, oh, there we go. There's three tin. We can ignore that now. It can just go through. Three tin. We need to destabilize some glowstone. I'm presuming it's probably the same as last time. Uh, in the fact, I'm going to need ten. Just as a presume. A presume. It, it, just as a... You know what I mean. Let's give it a try, though, first. Wow, that's going to take a while. This one's taking a long time. It's probably going to end up in here, actually, so we'll keep an eye on it in, the, in this place. Mmm. While I'm here, guys, while you guys are here listening as well, uh, ideas. All right, give us some ideas for what sort of pack you would like to see come up after this particular pack. Or, you know, if you get if you guys get bored of this pack, let me know. What sort of pack would you like to see on this? Oh, 250 Energized Glowstone. This is better. Okay, we only need three more. It was worth checking that. It was. Nickel going through. No more silver will go through because I've actually uh, used it, haven't I? So let me really quickly enable that so that nothing else can come through here. Let this sort of uh, run through. Why is that not? Oh, I turned the uh, thing off, didn't I? There we go. I like to watch people suffer. Project Ozone 3. Oh, has that mode actually come out? Has the Project Ozone 3 Kappa mode now come out? Because I'm doing Project Ozone 3 on my uh, YouTube channel, but I it's just normal. But as far as I was aware, there was no Kappa mode yet available for Project Ozone 3. If it's come out, then it might be something, it might be worth giving it a good, uh, giving it a crack, maybe. Because that's something that I can... Um, I certainly can have your guys help with, you know, with sort of with uh, systems, setting up systems and stuff that will help that sort of thing. Right, here we go with pulverizer. So we're going to change all that. We're going to pulverize down our um, our silver, and that's going to be our lumium. Now, while I've got the pulverizer spare as well, I am going to look at the other one that we need, which is endarium. Oh no, this is. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. Uh, resonant ender. Um, is basically what we have to get and um, we need to melt down an ender pearl and we need four ender pearls guys four ender pearls I've got enough for one and it took me ages to get that as well god damn it <laughs> stone block 2 FTB interactions what is that I've never heard of that one before. What, what does that involve then? Oh, I can't believe it. There's only one bloody ender end pearl. Do you know how annoying it is to get ender pearls, guys? I don't think you'd realise. We're going to have to set up like um, an automatic system, I think. We've got lava here. Lava's not an issue. We're going to get... Right, we're going to set up a system. We are for this. I just started interaction. Seems kind of easy so far, to be honest. I mean, it has to be some sort of, um, it doesn't necessarily, I don't mind if it's easy. I mean, I'd class this sort of pack, once you get the, uh, once you get the gist of it, and once you get things going, it's quite easy. Um, right, we're going to do this. Oh, no, we can't do that. Oh, we can do that, actually, because it can feed it from both ends. That's what she said. No, we can't do that, actually. Give me that back. Because it feeds it from both ends, and we do not want this to happen. We're going to put that there. Um, I know we've got a hopper. Oh, we've got two. How awesome is that? And we're going to grab ourselves I swear I grabbed two. Oh, we've not got two. We've not got two. Okay. Let's have four of these instead then. Ow! <laughs> That's not what I want to do. Oh, I put it away. We're going to automate this process. I don't like it, so we're going to automate it. Um, and doing so, how do 
don't want a piece of glass there. I'm going to put some soil sand there for the moment while I put this chest down. So, we're going to do something that looks a little bit like that. I'm actually going to need a little bit of a step up here as well now. Now I've done all this. Stone block is basically sky block but underground. Yes, I have seen stone block. And the good thing is that it does have the uh, EMC sort of thing. Once you start of, once you sort of unlock that, it starts to get a little bit easier. Um, I mean, you know, tell me if I'm wrong by saying that, but it does start to get a little bit easier. Let me put the hopper on the top of this thing. Um, yep, it's not going into there, which is good. And then the hopper on the back of there. This is good. Now, we are going to get ourselves... I'm going to put 12 through it um, at the moment. This is going to make end stone for us. If you can see in there, it's making end stone, which is what I like. Energized glowstone. Here we go, guys. That will be enough to be able to make our next thing, which is lumium. Lumium. Yeah, I do think it is like that. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I've seen certain bits and bobs um, of... I've never, I never played the first stone block, but I know that, it, that stone block two improved the way that the quest system worked slightly. Um, if I'm right by saying that, please tell me if I'm wrong. Put the aluminium in there, and that'll get us that. We need more ender pearls, guys. We cannot complete this without getting more ender pearls. As soon as we've done this, we get the pick of choice, and we can once again get another mod unlocked, which is going to be great. And we've got some more slag as well. Why the heck not? Stick it in here. So that's Lumium. Oh, why is it not? Lumium Signalum. Have I got to literally detect them? Oh, it consumes. Okay, it's actually nicked it. How dare you? How very dare they nick my stuff like this? End stone. I need to put crushed end stone through there, don't I? To be able to get. End dust. End of dust. We need that diamond stuff and mesh. Crushed end stone. I think, don't we just literally do it with a hammer? End of gravel? Oh, it's just end stone. So yeah, it literally is just with a hammer. This is going to take a while, guys. Okay. Oh no, it's not actually going to take that long. I thought endstone was really hard to uh, to break down, but apparently not. Guys, if you're interested as well, at my YouTube channel, um, Hey Gyorky Chilled, uh, on there, I am doing Project Ozone on there. Now, the good the good thing, I don't really know if it's a good thing or not, but uh, the thing about it, I mean, let me disable, let me enable this, should I say, and shove that into there. It's got my diamond one in, with my efficiency and, and fortune, which I did actually put on there now, guys, so that's good. Um, I don't know if it works in here or not, but please do let me know, uh, because I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Uh, and it's really annoying. Let that go through. Extra util- the new extra utils, more than the old one. To be honest, I never really played much of the old one. So, the way that the new extra utils works is pretty much all I knew that it worked like anyway. If we can get eight. Guys, this would be amazing. If we can get eight, end I think we've got eight anyway. Because we had some in here. Oh, yes. We need another. Well, no, we need another four. God damn it. I'm getting distracted. Please. One more. One more. Come on. Drop one. Yes. That's what I want to see. Beautiful. We can get that uh, smelted down now as well. Nice. Um, What was I going to say before that? Oh, yeah. Project Ozone. I'm playing it over there. And I'm absolutely loving it. I really am. I love the way that the, the quests are done. That's my main thing, is the way that the quests are done in a pack. There are so many quests in that mod pack that I never find anything that I cannot work towards. And that's what I like from a pack. Something that gives me a goal. Something that gives me an end and says, there you go, get this, and we can go from there. But it has to be stepped properly. And what I mean by that is, if you watched me play uh, Not The Bees, very good mod pack, like the premise, but it sort of shoved th uh, Thorncraft in it, and shoved uh, Britannia and stuff into it, said, I want you to get these stuff, which are like starting items. And then, the next quest was, kill the Gaia Guardian, or, you know, get Gaia shards. And I'm not up to that. 
Do you know what I mean? I've got to get through the whole mod before I can even do the next quest. And that doesn't make any sense to me. I want stepped quests that you can sort of like go from one step to another. I mean, I'm terrible. I forget my own head some days. I walk out the door and then I'm like, oh my god, a bit breezy. I forget my own head, guys. And um, that's what it comes down to when it comes to me. So, I need stepped quests. Purely for that fact. That's why I need it. Right, Endarium. Endarium blend. Three lead, one platinum. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm glad that I've got this. Is this still off? Yeah, it's disabled. Oh. But stone block two might be something that I will... Um, you know, there's quite a few people. It's not just yourself as well that's said about it, but... Um, stone block two is a decent pack, I think, for streaming. So it might be worth doing that after uh, after breakout's finished. Depends how long breakout's going to take. I have no idea what the start of... Uh, the if it gets to that point and it's not stepping the quests as I would like, then, you know, that'll be curtains for this pack. I don't like it when they do that. It's sort of like a cop-out. It's too easy to say, like, you get the end stuff and then it's done, you know what I mean? Right, and Daria Blend is now finished. We should be able to put one, two, three, four into there. Four into there. And then Bob's your uncle. Fanny is actually your aunt as well. And there we go. Right, I'm going to turn this back on now. So we're going to input from the left, output to the right. Um, ignored, yes, that'll be... Oh, no, it's not input to the left. It's input to the top. And now that, we're going to stick that in there first before anything else has a chance of getting into there. And you are enabled. You don't need to be enabled anymore. Yes. Okay. That's going to go well, I should think. I'm going to leave the uh, the glass in there. Endarium is done as well. Beautiful. Let's detect that and claim our pick of choice. And that is what we were after, guys. Pick of choice, then. This is the time where you guys get involved and say where you would like this um, next place to uh, to go. So with the pick of choice, we have a choice to make, and that is to unlock, guys. If we go, oh, I forgot I did that as well. We get a reservoir, whatever one of them is. Um, the crossroads. We get to unlock either the south, the east, or the west. We get to unlock Britannia. We get to unlock Endrio, or we get to unlock um, the actually additions. Personally, and this is just me. I think we should go down the actually additions route. I think there's much of Ender IO that's very similar to thermal expansion, and we don't need to use that. It'd be really nice to have the conduits. I mean, look at the state of it. But with that then in mind, it would also be nice to be able to get into actually additions because actually uh, additions. I do believe. And I'm not sure if this is right, but isn't there something somewhere where we can mine things from that isn't here? Or is that somewhere else? It may be somewhere else, and I'm completely messing everything up here. I don't know. But, um, oh, you get the double crusher in this as well, which would be pretty awesome to put that next to the other ones. Isn't there the ability to sort of mine from a, a, dis a different place? I don't know if there is or not. By the looks of this, though, I'm not entirely sure. I don't know. I don't know. I think what I would like to do, though, I think I would like to go down the actually additions route. It's a different sort of mod to all the other ones, so I think that's what we're going to do. That's the Britannia lens. It should be actually addition. Are they for Britannia? Yeah, they're to stick on the uh, atomic reconstructor with M ones. In fact, let me look. We've got our thing open there. If we can see what's in here. And I will tell you why in a second. Oh, it's Britannia in there. And that's one of the ones that I do not want to do at this moment in time. Because we could have opened that there and then gone to the, f uh, the far point and let things actually spawn in our little mob spawner over there. I'm going to choose, guys. I am going to choose. I'm going to go with actually additions. I think this, this is the way forward that we're going to do. And uh, where is the actually additions sort of place? I'm going to get rid of all this as well, as soon as we're not killing any endermen anytime soon. 
We don't need to kill endermen. I don't even understand why it wants me to... We can make ender pearls with just a flick of our wrist nowadays. Right, here we go. Nope, that's ender I.O. So it's not that road. No, it's not that way. Of course, it would be behind all this mess that I've got over here. So... Oh, it's not too bad, actually. That's okay. We can sort of step it up and step it down here. That's not too much of a uh, too much of a bother. And uh, here we go. These the atomic reconstructor. Then let's get in here. And then one more, and that'll be it. The pick will break. Beautiful. Red glazed terracotta. Let's make sure that we put uh, some stairs down, so we've got something in there. You can get a mob spawner in here as well. Look, don't forget. We can take that out and do that there. Um, right. Ah, Skystone. <gasps> Guys, there's Skystone in here as well. Oh, this is awesome. This will be our Applied and Logistics 2 start right here. I think it's because we've opened up both the areas. And then we can open up this doorway between both the areas. And get some sort of this. We've got bedrock on the outside of this. Oh no. Skystone complete. Nice. I never realised this was in here. Bit of Skystone, guys. Can't go amiss. I'm presuming that around this corner, in fact, is it right there? That might be the doorway between that and the next place. Oh no, it might not be actually. Oh my god, there's so many, there's so much of it. Oh. There's pistons. I take it we can break these pistons. There we go, look at that. Nice. Why didn't it open last time? Do, will this one open? No. Okay, I think you do have to literally open both the sides before you can walk through. Let me just, really quickly, because it's getting dark in here, guys. Stick that light on. I will turn the light on. Oh, I've run over my lead. Let's not do that in the middle of a stream. Could go tits up. There we go. So, yeah, it looks as if you've got to open both sides before this will actually open up as something that you can mine. Which I will take. And there goes my uh, my bronze pick. Um, <laughs> that's actually got power in it, guys. Ooh. It's actually got some power in it. It's a shame I can't get through this bloody polished obsidian. It is... What's it harvestable with? We need our pickaxe now. I think it was impossible, wasn't it? Impossible. Oh, mining level impossible. It must be like... Oh, what was that? Um, it was a diamond pickaxe, wasn't it? The one that we had to get? Yes, it was. It was a diamond pickaxe because we need blizz rods. We needed diamonds. We need greenstone gems, which is part of a gem mod. Apparently we, we get this from somewhere. Where do we get this from? I'll never know. Oh, we, made the, we use the empowerer to make them. Okay, that's not too bad. Greenstone gem. With a singularity from... Oh my... Are you kidding? Matter condenser. <gasps> I can see this getting very, very difficult very, very quickly. With that sort of thing flying around. A singularity? We have to craft? My goodness gracious me. And... Um, how much power does this take? Does it tell you how much power? It doesn't. Wow, that's going to be a lot of power, guys. I am. I know that that's going to be a lot of power. Okay, what's this? Harvestable? No. Escape level. Escape. Yes, it is, in fact, the diamond pick. Which... That just seems a bit too far away, doesn't it? That seems a bit too far away. Let's put that in there. Okay. Um, actually, additions. Manual. Um, 
Is it, is that, what was that on the wall? And I just didn't pick it up. Oh, it is, it's there. Nice. Okay, we've got that. There we go. Ten levels of experience there, guys. Also, Skystone. Nice, twelve of them. And it gets into the Applied Energistics, which would be awesome to get into some Applied, and applied Energistics. Get that auto, um, you know, the auto stuff going. That'd be, that would be great. So we completed that quest. And that's that bit done as well. Let's go into actually additions then and see what we need to do. Reconstructing the atom. This room seems to specialise in morphing the materials that I already have into newer, more powerful variations. Providing this atomic reconstructor with power causes it to transform materials thrown below it at a push of a button. So 16 redstonia crystals. And if you don't know guys, I'm going to do 18 because you can do the blocks straight up as well. Which we're gonna, sh I'm gonna show you exactly what we need to do here. Right, this is facing downwards, right? So we're gonna stick that there like that. Press the button, redstone here. Done. And there we go. 18 redstone here crystals. 16 Enori crystals, which I do believe come from iron. You'll have to get, let me know, guys, if I'm wrong by any of these things. Please do not hesitate to, uh, to speak up and let, and let me know. Strange things have happened. And um, I am very, very occasionally wrong. Nice. An Ori crystal blocks. Okay, yes. So there's an Ori crystals. What else do we have? I should get everything all at once. Void crystals. What are they? How does one make void crystals? Cool. Okay. And one piece of soul sand? Seriously? Can we make soul sand? Is that what we need? Or do we need soul sand going forward for something? Have I got no coal? Have I seriously? Can I make coal with the tiny coal? I can. Nice. I need one more. Make a coal block. And that'll be the void. Do we need more than one? Yeah, we need 16. We need 16 of these as well, so we're going to have to do it in the old-fashioned way. With everything. Nice. It worked. Means we've only got one bit of tiny coal left, but we have got loads in there anyway, so we shouldn't be too worried. Void crystals, and then one piece of soul sand, which I happen to have in one of these chests somewhere. There it is, soul sand. Tell me it doesn't use it. It doesn't consume it. Nice. Um, we get a redstone torch. A redstone torch for that? Seriously? I mean, I'll, I'll take it, I suppose. Through a lens, darkly. Lens of colour. Lens of the miner. Here we go. This lens lets the atomic reconstructor be used to convert a block of stone into valuable ores, including the elusive wub ore. Hmm. Interesting. I think that's something that we've got to do then. Lens of the miner. We don't have this... Um, Oh, okay. It's pretty much one of everything. Which I don't think I have enough of the... Oh, no, I do. I don't have any ender dust, though. God damn this game. It really doesn't like me. Okay. I'm going to put 12 through the ringer once more and make that into end. And then get we're going to get that, that there. What's the lens of colour do? I have no idea. We are going to need, or we, we're probably going to want to repurpose one of these rooms. And, um, unfortunately, we're going to have to do, we're going to have to take this. And I don't want to use it while it's still got power in it. Will it regain, will it retain its power? Before I break this, guys, please tell me, will this retain uh, its power? 
that's on there, let me know because I need to pick that up and move it because we need to get power going into that eventually. So, yeah, it would be nice if it retained its power. But if it doesn't, well, I need to know before I break it. I don't want to break it with power still in there if it doesn't actually retain it. Make some more crushed end stone because we're going to need some more of that ender stuff. Right, do the usual and just turn that off so it doesn't actually take any of that. Brilliant. I don't really need the actual editions manual at the moment, so I'm going to stick that away along with my hammer once more. So I do believe it was one of these and a load of the diamond nuggets. It was like this to get a diamond, right? Yeah, there we go. Lovely. So diamond, gold, iron, gold, iron, diamond, gold, iron, black quartz, emerald, how does one make an emerald? Oh, I could have just left it on that, lens of the miner, emerald, it's just emerald nuggets, okay we can do this, there we go, there's the emerald, Black quartz I get from sieving iron stiffened mesh. I should have some. Oh, there we go. I have got some. Uh, a bit of coal. There we go. Loads of coal. One of them. Lapis, nether quartz. Uh, got lapis. Nether quartz. Now that's something that we don't have here. Have I got any in my chest anywhere? Hmm. I don't think it is. How do we get nether quartz? And I knew it was sieving something. It's sieving soul sand, guys. The thing is that making soul sand is ridiculously long. It takes forever. Does do it does doing it in a stone barrel make it any quicker? No, that's cast dirt, not actual dirt. I thought oh it's sand, isn't it? Not dirt. Duh. I'm a clown. Right, let's try this. What was it with? Um with a flint stiffened mesh. Okay, we can do this. We have a flint stiffened mesh, that's for sure. And hopefully, with one of these soul sands, I can get what I need. And I, I add it once, and I never even had to use my other one. Beautiful! We've got two nether quartz there. Nice. I could have stuck it in there, to be honest. I could stick it in here and get the e efficiency. And Oh no, I can't, because that's on my diamond one. Never mind. Just just ignore what I just said then, because it's absolutely stupid. A lens then. We need a black quartz surrounded with glass. Easily done. We've got plenty of glass as well now. I say plenty, we've got ten. <laughs> plenty of glass, guys. There we go. So I should be able to craft this lens now. Brilliant. And that'll change a normal piece of stone into an R. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to get one of these go in these cobblestones and I'm gonna get it in the furnace straight away get that into normal stone and get that going in there now I'm not entirely sure if this works or not guys but I'm just gonna give it a go hopefully it retains its power if it doesn't uh, then we've, we've, we're making more power hopefully it's not gonna be an issue but over here is where we are gonna put our atomic reconstructor because eventually this will want does it poke towards me? Yes, it does. Like that. It does retain its power. Lovely. So if I stick the lens on this, there, like that, we are going to want power to get to this as well. See, I, I hate the fact that this polished obsidian's here. It's really not making things easy at all. We might have to move this again. 
I wanted it there, but it's it's not having it. It's like, no, 